Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and our last video we took a look at a bunch of must-have Ghostbuster themed kitchen accessories including this awesome Stay Puff Marshmallow Man cookie jar. And everybody out there, well they seem to like that video quite a bit so I thought today we're gonna do it again as we take a look at another list of must-have Ghostbuster themed kitchen accessories made by our friends over at The Coop. And like I said in the past video, the coupe should sound familiar to you guys because they recently made these awesome handmade by robots Ghostbuster vinyl figures. Featuring both the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and Slimer, both being made to look like they're knitted dolls. Seriously, these are two of my favorite Ghostbuster collectibles released last year. And if you haven't watched a video on that, be sure to click the link right down below in the description after this video is done. And speaking of past videos, in our last video, we featured a ton of items once again made by the Coop, including, as I've already shown you, that awesome Stay Puft Marshmallow Man cookie jar. We also had these Stay Puft Marshmallow Man themed salt and pepper shakers. And check this one out, the Ghostbusters Ghost Trap Lunch Tote. Now if you'd like to buy any of those items, we've got an Amazon link right down below in the description. And once again, if you'd like to check out our full unboxing and review of all those items, link down below in the description. Now our last video was very Stay Puft heavy. Today's video, as I said at the top of the video, is going to be very Slimer centric. And we're kicking it off right here with the Slimer Candy Dish. As you can see from the box art right there, we got this great shot of the candy dish featuring the likeness of Slimer. He's listed as a decorative ceramic figure. And turning around to the back here, you can see he is just full of jelly beans and it says perfect for desktop or home use. Perfect for desktop or home use. I'm gonna be the judge of that one. Let's uh, crack him open. It's, it's right here. It's, it's looking at me and I'm looking at it and I'm a happy guy right now. So cute, yet so disgusting at the same time. We got the huge wide mouth there, which you can shove a ton of candy into. Then we got tons of other little details there, like the little boils, uh, the fat rolls. Have the little arms coming out of the side there. Now it goes without saying to longtime viewers, but for the new ones out there, when it comes to anything Slimer, I judge it mainly on one thing and one thing alone, and that is the Slimer booty. Let's see if the coop. If the coop came through on this, and I think they did. Once again, we got tons of fat rolls back there. We got the, all the boils there on the bottom. As I previously mentioned, I mean, I think the coop balanced uh, cute with just disgusting, and it, it really works for this thing. Now it's obvious I'm pretty smitten with this little uh, candy dish, candy bowl here. Uh, I'm just thinking of like all the other ways you could use him aside from being just a candy bowl. I mean if you wanted to have him like at your sink and put like a little scrub brush in him, uh, like one of our Facebook users out there she suggested, uh, you could certainly do so. Uh, maybe if you wanted to even like load him up full of cereal and eat cereal out of him, I mean that could be a possibility too. And I would love to fill him full of candy, but uh, being that we're in the world that we're in right now, I don't really think it's a, a smart choice to leave the house just to get candy to fill Slimer up. So I need something to fill him with, and I think I just, it just came to me. It's just a little old. It's still good. It's still good. Hey Slimer, how about a drink? Glug, glug, glug. Not the best sound to be coming out of a Slimer. So drinking out of him is probably not the recommended way of using the Slimer candy dish, once again from the coop. But, uh, you know, we live dangerously here, so let's, um, let's... Didn't really think about how this was going to look on, uh, on video. <sighs> Got a little on my nose there. All right, so I certainly can't recommend this Slimer as a mug, but once again, as a candy dish, or just to hold something that you can kind of reach in and, and grab out of there, like candy, certainly recommend him. Uh, I love the look of him, and even if you're not gonna use him for that, just having him like in your collection, certainly a nice showpiece, love him. Oh, wait a minute, did I say Slimer mug? I mean, that seems like a perfect segue to our next item, which is this Slimer surprise mug. Taking a look at the front of the box here, uh, window style design there showing the no ghost logo on the mug. And turning the box around to the back, yes, you are going to get a Slimer surprise on the inside as Slimer is on the inside. So there's the mug, it's pretty basic, uh, white standard mug, got the no ghost logo, uh, very 80s, uh, at least that's the vibe I get from my, my first glance at this. Now on top of that, where this mug really does shine is when you take a look on the inside here, and there he is, Slimer. Got the small yellow little beady eyes there, his hands are up on the sides of his face. Looks like there's a, a small booty back there as well, so uh, kudos once again to the coop on that. Really do like this one, uh, as always, really happy to add it to the old collection here. Uh, but the true test in a mug is seeing how it works as a mug, so let's go get that uh, that, that ecto cooler again. It's kind of like Slimer's baby birding it right now to like the, 
little baby slimer on the inside. Well, this is just plain neat. I mean, I've got Slimer down there just kind of swimming in his own little juices. I mean, it is Ecto Cooler, right? He was the mascot with his little head there poking out looking oh so adorable. So now that I do have the Ecto Cooler in an actual mug, let's take a bigger swig here and... <sighs> One thing's for sure, this mug is certainly going to age a lot better than that Ecto Cooler. Um, if you'd like to pick up this mug, once again, much like the uh, the candy bowl that we took a look at earlier, the Slimer one there, that link down below in the description. Click it and buy your Slimer hidden mug today. All right, now the last two items here, they're kind of a cop out. I know the whole video is more Ghostbuster themed kitchen items. Um, and those first two items you definitely find in someone's kitchen. These two, uh, not necessarily, but I thought I'd feature them anyways. Uh, they are two Ghostbuster themed journals. We've got both a, a green Slimer one here and then also an Ecto-1 based journal. So we got the Ecto-1 uh, out of the packaging right here. And uh, oh yeah, check out that, that art there. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Oh, and actually what's also really cool is as you flip the pages in here, uh, this one is regarded as an Ecto-1 VHS journal, which there is a clear reason for that because you can actually see a uh, Ghostbusters VHS tape printed on each individual page. And for those wondering, the image work on both the front and the back of the journal are the same in the Ecto-1 journal's case. Now moving from the Ecto-1 over to Slimer, because once again this is a very Slimer-centric episode of Ghostbusters News, we got his big gnarly face on the front there. Opening it up, we've got this awesome, awesome art, ugly little spud. And each individual page uh, features obviously once again lined paper there, but we've got graphics of a hot dog and slices of pizza. Two things Slimer certainly loves. Really slick, really cool. Taking... Ooh! Okay, once again, how I judge Slimer things is by the booty. Has there ever been a better Slimer booty, at least in 2D, like in printed form, than this journal? I mean, look at that! Got the big bodacious cheeks, we got the shine, we got the slime drippage there. Oh, so good. I mean, obviously if I have to pick a favorite, uh, Slimer is certainly the one right here. But I absolutely love this Ecto one, once again, with the uh, old school like VHS tape printing on the inside. Now, if you'd like to pick up either of these two, be sure to, once again, click that link down below in the description and buy yours today. Same goes with that Slimer candy bowl or the hidden Slimer mug that we took a look at today. And the same goes for all the other great Ghostbuster themed items we have taken a look at from the coop, including the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man cookie jar, those handmade by robot vinyl figures, the salt and pepper shakers, like everything. On top of all of that, be sure to check out the Ghostbusters News Instagram page. That link is down below in the description. Very, very soon, we're gonna be hosting a giveaway up on our Instagram page, sponsored by the coop, and it'll give you guys a chance to win some of these amazing, amazing items. That is all I've got for you here right now. Be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. Bust that little bell notification icon down below there. And I will see everybody right back here next time. Ghostbusters News here on YouTube.